and a half miles. So we're going to do what we call a simulated engine fail, which just means we're going to idle the plane and then glide down to land. Okay. And we do that by just kind of like circling over the airport. Barrier to traffic, arrow 644, we're going to have to field 3,500 feet. It's going to spiral down and simulate engine fail to land runway 18 American. What do we do first? Mixture for rich, prop pull forward, and power is coming back to idle. You're going to hear a beep, and that's just because the landing gear is not down. Okay. Long Ranger, North Tip, Governor's 1200, descending down to 500 south. That's it. Of auto milk. The engine is basically off. What I'm trimming is I'm just trimming back, so I don't have to touch the controls. If not, the plane would want to, like, the nose Governor's would just want to come over. 2000 over okay. Governor's, dropping to 700 north of the buttermilk to the bridges. That's it. Long Ranger, buttermilk, 700 southbound. I got you inside up there. It's not going anywhere. It's not dropping out of the sky. It's yeah. not. And this plane is a brick, as we call it, so it falls faster than most planes. Okay. And you'll feel that when I actually put the gear down. Air to traffic, arrow 644, over at the field, 3,000 feet now. Spiraling down to enter a similar engine failure to land one way. Meredith. Do so you see the runway? Do you see the runway at all? Yep. Where is it? It's like right, like underneath the wing, so you can't see it. Much, like, a little <laughs> bit. Now I can't see it. But right. Like, I see like the little shit circles. Right. But now I see the runway. So this is where we start to kind of judge our turn here. What I usually do is we're at 2,500 feet. Pattern altitude here is 1,100 feet. So what I do here is I'm going to tighten the turn a little bit just to help us kind of stay where we are altitude-wise. And then by the time we turn around this turn, we'll be kind of very close to our normal pattern altitude. Okay. Marion Chavik, Air Force 4 is entering the left downwind runway 1 8 bird. And so below 130 knots, our gear is going to come down. And then we're going to wait for our 3 green. And now you're going to feel the plane start to sink more because we have a lot more drag. The winds yeah. aren't to really affect us. Because the tires are. 3 3 3. So like, what's like miles per gallon for like oh, miles per gallon on this? Hard to say, because it depends on the plane. Okay. What I would say is our gas is on the fullest tank, undercarriage is down well, the mixture's forage, props before throttles necessary, three green, two pumps on, landing lights on, and we have the runway in sight. Now we're going to start to configure for landing. Mariner traffic, arrow 604, left base, 1-8, Mariner should approach. And this is where you kind of like you start to like have to know your plane a little bit to see what it would do to know how high or low you are. Okay. Great. Right, what we're going to do here, pushing those over a little bit. Our final approach piece is going to be like 75 ish. And Mary Chavik, Aero 604 is based on final 1 8 Mary full stop. Here's one flaps. That's it. Do you think you can land the plane next? I don't know. <laughs> what I would say is we'll go back around and do another pattern. But yeah, I always practice that specific procedure because that is what something people don't do after a while. It comes to bite them when they really need to do it. Yeah.